Hey everyone, Grant here for the Flame Learning Channel. In this video, we'll take a look at a new type of texture mapping in the Flame 2018 products. This is known as triplanar mapping, and this gives you another alternative to texturing 3D models within the Action 3D compositing environment. If you would like to follow along, please click the link in the YouTube description to download the batch setup. Alternatively, if you're watching the podcast version of this video, then type the displayed link in your favorite web browser. Now starting with a fresh batch group, click the load button and choose to load and append a batch setup. Navigate to the downloaded media and you should land up with these flow graphs. The substance noise node is providing a texture. The color source node is just white and these are all fed into the action node. Double click on the action node for its controls. Press ALT 2 for a 2 up view and put the action schematic on the left and the result viewport on the right. I have already set up the environment so that we can focus purely on the texture mapping. In case you're wondering, you have an untextured sphere, the white frame is the ground and you have a light which is casting the shadow. I have already enabled image based lighting on the camera and I have already added a fog camera effects to create the gradient effect in the background. Please note that even though the shader node enables physical based rendering on the sphere, it is not a requirement for texturing or the new triplanar texture. Now to texture any object in action, the workflow is pretty straightforward. Select the geometry node in the action schematic and ensure you are looking at the action node bin. In the media list, select the first entry and switch to the maps tab. Now all these maps have got texture controls, but the one I want to focus on is the diffuse map. Drag out the diffuse map and it should attach itself to the geometry object. So what you see in the viewport is the default method of texturing an object in action. To expose the controls, double click on the diffuse map node. In the diffuse menus, change the menu to texture. Under the mapping column, you will see that the default texture mapping is set to wrap. This takes the texture and wraps it around the entire 3D object. This texturing mode also works with imported models that have their own UV coordinates. This ensures that any imported 3D model's texturing will match the 3D application it's come from. If you hold ALT and orbit the camera, you can see that in the case of the sphere, the texture bunches up at the top and bottom of the model and the widest part of the sphere stretches the texture quite a bit. Lastly, if you didn't have a continuous texture like this, you would also see a line where both sides of the texture eventually meet around the back of the model. So as a brief reminder, you could click the mapping pull down menu and choose projection. This always projects the texture from the point of view of the camera and it never distorts or moves. Another alternative is to use plane mapping. This method applies the texture from the front of the model. So the texturing on the front of the sphere looks unstretched, but any other angle will show distortions in the texture mapping. If you find that too limiting, you could use perspective mapping. This is like planar mapping. However, the difference is that you can drive the texture of the planar map from the perspective of a camera. So instead of always being front on like the plane mapping, you can place the camera anywhere in the 3D environment and the texture would be applied from the angle of the selected camera. Now in the case of all mapping types so far, they could cause some type of texture distortion, bad blending edges, etc. When you switch to triplanar, the texture is mapped using the planar method. However, it is mapped on the X, Y and Z axes of the 3D model. These multiple instances of the texture are then blended together and Flame works out which one to use that will display the minimal amount of texture stretching. So theoretically, you should not get stretching texture maps or hard seams when using this mapping method. Now I used a grid-like texture to show how triplanar mapping is applied. But let's use a more organic texture to see how this works. 
swipe back to batch and double click on the Substance Noise node. Click Change Preset. In the file browser, choose the Microscope View preset. Next, up the gain to 2 to make the texture brighter. Now swipe back to batch and go back into the Action node. At this point, turn the icons off using the menu or the I keyboard shortcut. If you hold ALT and orbit around the sphere, the triplanar mapping should give a seamless and unstretched texture on the 3D object. Switch back to the Wrap Texture Mapping to see the difference. Once again, the texture stretches around the wider parts of the sphere and the texture pinches at the top and bottom. You'll see the difference again by going back to Triplanar Mapping. Just so that you know, there is an additional mapping option called Tri Perspective, and this is similar to Triplanar. The only difference is that the orientation of the X, Y, and Z axes can be influenced by a targeted camera. This can help realign the triplanar texture if needed. Now let's see how triplanar mapping can work on any geometry other than the basic sphere. Swipe back to the batch schematic and move the view upwards with the spacebar. Here we have another action node and you can set the controls and viewports the same as the previous action. Here you have a much more complicated 3D geometry. Just orbit the 3D environment with ALT and you can see the detail in the model. In addition to this, this model has also been textured with an advanced PBR substance texture and not just a simple diffuse map. To expose the texture mapping on this model, just double click on the base color map in the action schematic. In the action menus, you should find the same texture controls as the diffuse map. As I said at the beginning of this video, the default mapping is set to wrap. When you orbit the model again, I want to point out the texture stretching and there are also some weird distortions happening at the bottom of the model. This could be for a few reasons including the UVs. Now change the mapping to Triplanar. The texture updates on the model and Flame makes its best attempt to give an undistorted texture with a great blend. Please be aware that the triplanar texture is not the silver bullet solution to every texture problem, but it certainly gives you another option when dealing with stubborn texture mapping. Be sure to check out the other features, workflows and updates to the Flame 2018 products. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Flame Learning channel for future videos. Oh,